Dear students, you are welcome in the Education Department at Chat Association. Our lesson today is about congruent triangles. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to click the bell to stay notified. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the congruent triangles to prove two congruent triangles by side, 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 angle, side, angle, or side, angle, side to identify the coded properties and to identify the homologous elements. Congruent triangles. When two triangles are congruent, then they will have exactly the same three sides and exactly the same three angles. And we have seen in the engage and explore section one case of congruency. When we draw a perpendicular bisector issued from the base of an isosceles triangle to the opposite vertex, then it cuts the triangle into two equal triangles. Now let's learn the three different cases of congruency. First case, SSS or side, side, side. In this case, the all three sides in one triangle are the same length as the corresponding sides in the other triangle. And this is the easiest case of congruency. So in triangle ABC and triangle KLM, we have side AB equal to LM and BC equal to side KM and side AC equal to side LK and in this case these two triangles are congruent by side 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 let's move to the second case side angle side this case two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the two sides and the included angle of another triangle so in this case in this case again we have two equal sides but this time the included angle between, two, between these two sides must be equal also. You have to focus on the word included angle. So side AC equal to side ZK, uh, ZX, sorry. And side CD equal to side ZY. And the included angle between these two sides, uh, C and Z, are also equal. If the angle A equal to angle Y, then these two triangles are not considered as congruent triangles because angle A and angle Y are not included angles between two equal sides. The final case, angle side angle. In this case, the two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to the two angles and the included side of another triangle. So this time, we have two equal angles and one included side also must be equal so angle a equal to angle x and angle b equal to angle y the included side between these two angles must be equal also so side ab equal to side xy and in this case these two triangles will be congruent by angle side angle but if side ac equal to side zy for example and uh, the side AB is not given that is equal to XY, then these two triangles are not considered as congruent triangles because sides AC and ZY are not included side between two equal angles. Let's start by solving this simple exercise. Prove that the two triangles ABC and XYZ are congruent. So, Given that AB equal to XZ equal to 9 cm and AC equal to XY equal to 10 cm. Also, the third side of the blue triangle is equal to the third side in the red triangle. So BC equal to ZY equal to 3 cm. Then these two triangles are congruent by side 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 or SSS exercise 2 prove that the two triangles AJK and ANK are congruent knowing that JKN is an isosceles triangle with vertex K and A represents a midpoint for its base so AK represent a perpendicular bisector for the base Jn.
So aj equal to an. Why? Because given that a is a midpoint for side jn, and we know a is a midpoint for the base jn. jk equal to kn. We know that the sides kj and kn are two sides issued from the vertex of this isosceles triangle. So jk must be equal to kn. Two sides in the isosceles triangle join to its vertex. AK equal to AK. AK is a common side between these two triangles. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by SSS, or side, side, side. Exercise 3. If C is a midpoint for the segment AE and VD, prove that the two triangles CDA and CDE are congruent. So we need to prove the two triangles joined by the point C are congruent. We know that AC equal to CE because C is a midpoint for segment AE. And CD also equal to CD. Again, the same point, which is C, is a midpoint for segment DB. Angle C or ACD equal to ECD. Because th these two angles are vertically opposite angles. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by side angle side. Fourth exercise. Prove that the two triangles ABM and DCM are congruent, knowing that ABCD is a square, and M represents a midpoint for side AD. So AM equal to DM or MD, because M is a midpoint for segment or for side AD. Usually we start by the easiest given AB equal to DC two sides of square and VAM equal to CDM again two angles of square equal to 90 degree therefore the two triangles are congruent by side angle side. Let's solve the final exercise, which is exercise 5. From the adjacent figure, we need to give the code properties and to find the angles of the triangles ADE and BCF. And in the third part, we need to prove that the triangles ABE and BCF are equal. And finally, we need to find the homologous elements, of course, for these triangles. Let's start by the first part. First, let's define the coded properties. Coded properties give the elements of a drawn shape a geometrical signs. So it helps us to define the shape or uh, the geometrical meaning for the given shapes. For example, in this figure, the coded properties give us that AB equal to BC because these two sides share the same number of dashes which is only one dash also aeb equal to angle cfb equal to 90 degree again because this code the square code represents or give us the value of angle and this value equal to 90 degree part b we need to find the angles of the triangles ade and VCF. We know that the sum of angles of any triangle must be equal to 180 degree. So angle A with angle E plus angle B must be equal to 180 degree, of course, in triangle AEB. So then we need only to substitute the given angle. So 90 for angle E and 30 for angle B 
plus angle A. We don't know what's the value of angle A. We need to find it equal to 180. So we can now find the value of angle A, which is equal to 180 minus 30 plus 90. So 180 minus 120 equal to 60 degree. Now we need to find the value of angles for triangle BFC. We have two unknowns, or we don't know the value of two angles in this triangle. So we can't apply the law of uh, summation for angles of triangle directly. We need to find either angle B or angle C first. So we can uh, find angle B or angle FBC. Because angle C, the adjacent angle for angle C is not given. So we can't find it. So let's start by finding uh, the angle BFC. We know that the sum of angles presented in a straight line equal to 180. So angle ABC plus angle EBA plus angle FBC must be equal to 180. And we know angle ABC equal to 90 and angle EBA equal to 30. We don't know the value of angle FBC. So we can write FBC equal to 180 minus 30 plus 90 or minus 120, which is equal to 60 degree. Now we can find angle C by following the same concept the sum of angles of triangle equal to 180. So angle B plus angle F plus angle C in triangle BFC must be equal to 180. So angle C is equal to 180 minus 60 plus 90, which is equal to 30 degree. Part C, we need to prove that the triangles ABE and DCF are equal. We know that sides AB and DC are equal from the coded properties. And by calculation, we know that angles BAE and angle B, uh, FBC sorry, equal to 60 degree. Also, we have found by calculation that angles ABE and BCF equal to 30 degree. Then the two triangles are congruent by angle side angle. Now let's solve the fourth or the final part. We need to write down the homologous elements for these triangles. First, let's define the homologous elements. Homologous elements are simply the elements which we have not mentioned them in the congruency verification. And these elements are AE equal to BF, we have not mentioned that AE equal to BF uh, while we are proving that these two triangles are congruent. EB equal FC and angle AEB equal to angle BFC. Thank you guys for watching. Try to contact with me if you have any question. Stay safe and good luck. If you liked this lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more. And don't forget to click the bell to get all the updates.